All right. Before I went to Ontario, I went with Glenn to the uh, swab and shop that they have up the racetrack in Langford there, Western Speedway. Held every Sunday. And I hadn't been in a lot of years. And a decade for sure. And I found this. And I'm a sucker for engine analysis uh, uh, machines. I mean, I have probably four timing lights of various uh, eras. And this was the thing that intrigued me. Five bucks. And I didn't even, I didn't even haggle. Five bucks is five bucks. Now, these things can only do so much, but they are useful tools for cars that have points and traditional ignition systems. And uh, so they, they, uh, they definitely hold a good uh, purpose. Uh, interestingly, this one, I think uh, I mentioned a bunch of videos ago when I was out in this uh, Valiant here that I wanted to, a fuel to air ratio um, system and supposedly this has one. I don't know how good it is but I, <laughs> I don't care. That's awesome. Uh, this video is not going to demonstrate that because I'm going to need to actually uh, um, suss the manual out and find out exactly how to do that but uh, this is really just to introduce the um, the thing itself. So anyway, let's uh, open the box here. There's the thing. Um, in the 70s, in the 60s and 70s, you would have seen a large machine at the back of any um, uh, of any good mechanic shop. They would, they would have a huge machine that they could hook up to the coil, and they would hook up to the uh, battery and the point system, and, and it would um, analyze uh, all kinds of different parameters. This is kind of a poor man's version of that. This is kind of what you would get at, you know, Canadian Tire or Sears to kind of do that. But it, you know, it's a, like I say, poor man's version of the same. You can see the point opening and closing the dwell, and uh, that is really handy um, for point systems. And obviously a voltmeter and amp meter. And like say on the back, supposedly this this little panel here is not for a battery per se, but you can put that down on the uh, top of the carburetor, and supposedly it'll give you a uh, air fuel um, ratio thing. Anyway, these things uh, like I say I, I can't really can't four, six, and eight cylinder options. Obviously it's going to be six for me. And uh, yeah, various you know, bus bar positive and minus uh, chummies. So here's uh, some of the manual. Engine analysis. Got some pretty small text, so I'm not sure how well we're going to see this here. But uh, it, uh, you know, it, it has other, um, well, whatever options that aren't necessarily um, all on the front panel. Get idle speed, metro settings, um, it'll do uh, RPM. Metering, cylinder power balance test. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Uh, 
dwell, yeah, dwell timing. That's important to know on the um, on the points because you need to be able to time the engine such that the uh, points are opening at exactly the right time in order to give you the proper uh, uh, running. It's got a dual point option which I don't have. Uh, voltmeter, of course. One of the basic functions. Charging system, uh, yeah, it has a uh, um, not only a voltmeter but also um, a uh, option to test the output of the alternator, which is pretty cool. Because you won't get that necessarily if you just are looking at the voltage that's coming to the battery. Starter circuit. Ammeter. Yeah, I think that's the uh, detecting the output of the um, alternator as opposed to what's just going in the battery. I mean, sometimes you can. Um, deduce what's going into the uh, what's coming out of the alternator by looking at the battery voltage but it's not exactly that it's better to look at the output of the, uh, the output of the alternator tells you more ohm meter uh, condenser leakage test which is interesting I usually kind of like remove the uh, condenser from most of my cars because it, it's more for uh, well whatever electrostatic or uh, uh, electromagnetic interference on radio systems and shit like that it's not that important to me I don't think any of my cars have functioning radios anyway and obviously a point checker and a uh, uh, checker on the coil Low voltage, which is hard to do because it's like 20,000 volts right here. Most, uh, uh, well, most just little testers that you get, you know, they don't want to go up to 20,000 volts. So anyway, quite a little, quite a little system. And I'm also looking forward to, uh, Trying that whole air fuel ratio thing because uh, that that really gives a good chance to uh, you know tune the carburetor, tune the air fuel um, system, and yeah, and I'm I'm pretty excited about it. I know it's not a whole lot different from some of the other systems um, that I've already bought like this, but um, this you know has more functions, and I don't have one that even claims to have a uh, air fuel ratio so that's gonna help anyway just a quick video to show you my, uh, my find five bucks and uh, yeah at five bucks I'm, you know, I'm, not, I, I'm gonna buy that no doubt about it I paid more more than that for timing lights so Anyway, have fun, be safe, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.